The release of the body cam video is also putting a sharper focus on how some far-right Republicans, leaders, activists, media outlets, began spreading groundless claims about the attack on Paul Pelosi almost immediately after it happened. Disinformation. Nearly all of them sinister and many homophobic, trying to cast doubt on what actually happened. Former Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger of Illinois tweeted out this list compiled by the Seattle Times, calling out 20 elected officials, candidates, and or prominent figures or people who want to be prominent, who made fun of Paul Pelosi or helped spread misinformation about the attack in the days after. And when I read this list, I mean, just keep in mind, this is your Republican Party, um, high level names being behaving in a simply disgraceful way. Some of the Republican politicians include Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who amplified doubts that all the facts were disclosed. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, who suggested Pelosi knew his attacker. Louisiana Congressman Clay Higgins, who suggested the attack involved male prostitution. North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, who raised doubts about the details of the attack. Georgia State House candidate Mary Williams Benenfield, who suggested the attack might have been staged. Minnesota State House candidate Royce White, who claimed the attack involved an extramarital gay affair. Arizona State Senator Wendy Rogers, who suggested the attack might have been staged. Florida State Representative Anthony Sabatini, who suggested that the Pelosi's are hiding vital information. New York Congresswoman Claudia Tenney, who amplified a conspiracy theory about an extramarital gay affair. And here's what some other prominent figures said. Glenn Beck, raising doubts about the details of the attack. Far-right commentator Dinesh D'Souza claimed the attack involved an extramarital gay affair. Dinesh, one of those Ivy Leaguers, really honestly casting a dark, dark light on his institution. So embarrassing. Far-right commentator Ryan Fournier claimed details about the attack were fabricated. Former deputy assistant to President Trump, Sebastian Gorka, raised doubts about the details of the attack. Fox News host Pete Hegseth and media personality Megyn Kelly raised doubts that all the facts were being disclosed. Elon Musk amplified a conspiracy theory about male prostitution. Former Republican Congressman Devin Nunes repeated a false report that the attacker was in his underwear. Far-right activist Michael Savage raised doubts that all the facts were disclosed. Roger Stone suggested the attack was staged. And former President Donald Trump, all your all's leader, because you can't, you can't quit him, you don't know what to do with yourselves, suggested the attack was staged. Words that come to mind, soulless, depraved, unfit, just not serious, and really damaging to our democracy.